Hello everybody and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Alpha 18 with me Lady Shelab and the great and wonderful Alvac and we're going to build lots of stuff today with all the concrete we found. <laughs> that Smith, is sorry. the hope, yeah. Hello everyone. Look at this, look at it. We have got quite a lot to be fair. Uh, though we are going to need a decent amount of stone though to pull that off I would imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, right, so that's smelting down more of the brass again. Very so does me, that. me, and the auger need to go on a little date to smelt some stone, to smelt some stone, to, to gather get some, some stone. stone. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. I would say so. It's just um, a giant flamethrower. It just melts it down. It turns it into lava, and then I bring it back, and it reforms into stone. That's how it works. I, I, I can't prove that's not how you're doing it. So I accept. Fair enough. Oh, it's, uh, oh, those glasses should not be in there. No, no, no. They should be over there. Uh, what glasses am I currently wearing? I'm wearing my nerdy glasses. I will bring my lucky goggles then. Just so that I can help myself to uh, a little bit of extra loot. Should the opportunity present itself. Uh, do I have any skill points to spend? I do. I do indeed. Yeah, I put away all the fuel. You know what, well, maybe I should good. pop a point into a better barter. Um, or the Daring Adventure, even. Get an additional choice of quest rewards. I mean, it's not a bad one. Honestly... I have a point as Given well. how many rewards we do, uh, how many quests we do, I think it wouldn't be a bad investment. But at the same time... At the same time, I could instead put points into, for example, light armor or my more stealth um, focuses. Uh, and I think that that's a little bit better. Um, I could even, in fact, make it so that enemies run 15% slower when I've cut them. Or get... Uh, no, actually, I'm going to go for Sheriff. Yeah, I think Sheriff is going to be the good one for, for my pistols. I think that'll be very, very nice. Uh, all right. I left all the fuel somewhere. Pop up. It happens, don't worry. Probably uh, on my bike, let's actually. See. Need to get a little bit more brass being smelted, if we can. And then, not long after that, I'm going to be heading over to just start a little bit of work on the whole place, I think. Yeah. There we go. I mean, we've got a thousand odd, so that's not bad at all. Do we have a lot of rebuy? Yes, we do. Marvelous. I approve. I sincerely approve of this. Okay, yeah, I think uh, it may, in fact, be time for me to head on over and do a little bit of... Yeah, and I will just keep going with getting stones and concrete and stuff all uh, all done, and then I'll I'll join you once uh, oh, enough stone. I can't actually smelt steel knuckles how Where? interesting maybe i can uh, i'll try next time i'm um, in the base i mean they should be smeltable they they have no smelting time so i'm just going to straight up scrap them oh right i see well, they break down into steel knuckle parts. That's why you can't smelt oh, them. Oh, right, 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 right. That makes total that sense. That confused me, but sure, okay. Is this worth uh, repairing? Yes, it is. We'll uh, repair that bow as well, since it'll be worth a lot more with f uh, full repair. Uh, okay, well, uh, that's good to know. I was uh, quite a bit confused there, I'm not going to lie. And uh, we'll smelt down the iron reinforced card. All right. So with all of that done, I'm going to be on my way back down into the hold base, and hopefully we're going to be able to start getting this thing built up a bit. Uh, yeah. Gas is getting a little bit low on my bike. I might need to... Uh... Well, there's another 10,000 in the base still, but we might need to go get some oil shale pretty soon, because that's the last stack of 10,000, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we may need to on that one. But it should be fine for now. Right. I will be at the whole base in just a moment. It'll be nice to have us both fully um, transitioned into the tier 4 quest so that we're not seeing many yeah. of the tier 3 quest repeats. Because those quests are so much more expansive than the tier 2s and tier 1s, you end up spending a lot longer doing them. So, noticing that the repeats 
feel a lot more. You got the same one, yeah. It's like, oh, we you did this one before. I completely forgot. My <laughs> claw hammer. I was such a good boy, and I took away all of the things that I wouldn't need for, for, quest. for questing. And yeah. uh, did not properly re-equip myself. So, wasting petrol, I know it, it's a heinous crime. Indeed it is. And I feel suitably uh, suitably sheepish for having done it. But, oh uh, well, here we are. Alright, let's go and grab me oh. a lure. <laughs> Little bit of petrol here. My driving is so bad right now. Uh, you say that I just as I nuts. almost upended my my bike into a pit. So uh, yeah, totally feeling it right now. Totally feeling it. Uh, I think we have pretty much everything I'm gonna need. Why is the sledgehammer here? I don't imagine that there's really much point in that. Um. Yeah, I'm going to open up the gas. I'm going to leave a lot of it here because I do not need that much at all. I'll take 65 with me. Do we Just actually have any stone going. or did we use all at the top? Oh, no, we do. We've got six. We've got like 9,000. Oh, some of the stuff that I ha that I mined out last time is still around. Brilliant. Oh, excellent. This means I don't have to do too much more. Yeah. Awesome. By the by... Your motorcycle still has a load of stuff in it. Yeah, I need to sort that. I do know. Okay. Because it would be sucked for you to go somewhere, assuming you could uh, get a bunch of stuff in the bike, and then be like, oh. Yeah. Oop. Okay. Well, I'm Done heading on down. Well, uh, six thousand concrete on the way. Nice. Six thousand. Wow, that's mm -hmm. actually quite amazing. You know what the only thing we've run out of is? What? Cement. Uh, well, there's a bunch of uh, both of the um, stone for uh, smelting forges should be good with that. Full of cement as well. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yeah, so another six hundred there, and another six hundred there. I'll just leave them in the box for now, though. I don't think we need to do tons more of that. I, <laughs> I think 6,000 will do for now. Ah, uh, yes. I I remember now I was meant to go back and check how the positioning of the uh, arrow... Uh, uh, yeah, the arrow slits was. Slits work. Do you want me to go do that and tell you? No, I'll I'll go and do it in a moment. I'm just gonna use up just some see. of the uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna use up some That's of the uh, cement I have right now on prepping the rebar I can. There we go. It's actually quite cathartic doing this. Quite cathartic. I mean, I know where it couldn't possibly be, so I can cement up all of those areas without issue. Going to need a decent amount of wet concrete blocks. Wet concrete blocks. Okay, I can make some of those. You just make them on the forge, don't you? Uh, in the cement mixer, yeah. Cement mixer, yeah, that's the one. Slowly bringing this place uh, together. How many do you think you'll need? Oh, probably a lot, I'll be honest, because we're going to need to have the shaping of the entire 50? outside of it. Oh, Hundreds? easily more than that. 100? Sure, we'll go with 100. It won't be enough, but we'll have a better idea of how much more I need okay. over that once we've got it. Oh, there we go. I am out of cement. Oh, I can make like 13 right now. <laughs> I need to make some more concrete mix first. That's fine. I'm going to head on over to the old horde base. I have a quick gander at how uh, we set that up. Driving back and forth quite a lot. you wasting gas. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm going to do then? Hmm? I'll take the auger down to the oil shale place. And we'll get some oil shell on the go because it's going to take a while. And I'd rather. Yeah, that is fair. Have that now. 
Yeah. It takes a long time for that to uh, build up, yeah. To process, but it's not too long to dig it out, so I'll mm -hmm. just head on down on my motorbike down to the... Uh... Sounds like a plan. Uh, we could, at this point, also go to the trader. It might be worth oh, yeah. uh, doing that early rather than late. Was it Jen? I, bel I, I mean, it was your quest, Let's so I'm see. not sure. It was snow. It was Hugh. It was snow biome, dude. Okay. Yeah, it is lower than I expected. Ah, right. Okay. Well, that's good to know, though. Very good to know. So I need to lower that down by one. Better that I work that out now than uh, much, much later. Right. So I'll head over to Hugh and hand that quest in. Yeah. I do such good skids on this bike. I know. Rear wheel has, like, no traction at all. The way it should be. It's basically a unicycle with a stabilizer on the back. Right, there we go. If you go with the direct route, be aware that, you know, I've, I've left a couple of noob traps in the masquerading as lead mines in the way. So, yeah. I want to watch out for this. When those. do I ever go the direct route? That is a very good point. That is a very good point. Shilab is very, uh, very well behaved well, when it comes to her, right her driving, even in games. Yeah. I just find it easier generally not to have to be like, oh, I crashed into a rock. Oh, I crashed into a tree. Oh no. I'm the monkey, and you can't catch me. Exactly. Ooh, we uh, kept the water there. There we are. Hello. Womp. Should I warm him up a bit? Yeah, I think it's only fair. Oh. Not quite how I imagined warming you up, but sure, that works. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't bring? Any trade materials? I don't care what folks oh, it's fine. Bring them next time. Oh, we'll take the, Sorry, uh, I'm not going to be doing millions of quests. Level 3 SMG. Uh, may I see your inventory? Ranger's Guide to Archery Volume 1. That would be good for you. Yes. Hop seeds. Wouldn't be bad to get. Uh, in fact... I'm going to take both of them. Yeah, definitely taking both of those hop seeds. I, we can start making our own beer. Oh, marvelous times. Truly. Wonderful. So I can take another quest. Let's see if he will, what he will give me now. Oh, yes, he will give me level fours now. That's great. Nice. Do we prefer clears or fetching clears? Um, either or, really. Uh, there is Urban Combat Volume 1 that I'm quite interested in. Military Stealth Boots. Military Stealth Boots. Military Stealth Boots. Yeah. How you can make them. Yeah, it uh, teaches you how to make them. How many dukes have you got with you? Personally, I have 1,810. Could I give you the 810 I've got here? And you buy that book from his uh, secret stash? Because that would be marvellous. Uh, Urban Combat 1, yeah? Yeah. I'm just gonna have a look whether I've got Lucky Looter Volume Thank Seven. God you're done browsing. Next time I'll charge you for that. <laughs> oh, charge God. for browsing. Wow. Well, the scallywag. Ah oh, man, I got all the Lucky Looter and Great Heist ones at level at, at number seven book. Okay, give me two seconds. I need to switch over my headphones. Okay. I will sit by the fire, warm my cold toeses. Well, she lab gets ready to leave. Okay, I am done. Okay. 
I warmed my toeses for a few seconds. You warmed Good your toeses times. for a few seconds? Indeed. By the fire over there? Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, do you want your book? Yes, please. Is that why you're, happy, why you're standing mm -hmm. there going... <laughs> Thank you very, very much indeed. Now, military stealth boots. What on earth are those? Uh, cowboy boots. Worn boots. Oh. Here we are. Military stealth boots. One fiber, four military then, parts, seven leather, way. one duct tape, one, two sewing kits. Fair enough. These military stealth boots have no stamina use penalty and muffle noise from movement. Uh, that will be amazing. I can only imagine that will stack with uh, other um, components, which would add to that. Or at the very least, would mean that I would no longer need to have my... Uh, muffled connectors in the boots that I've got. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, it's an extra mod slot for you then. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna head all the way down to the south. Mm -hmm. Oh, do I have any red tea? No, there is never any tea. I've got four on me. I'll hang tight. If you just head to where I am, then you can... Uh... Grab some tea off me before we part ways, because I'll be heading... Well, actually, I'm going to be heading to the base either way. Are you heading all yeah. the way south, did you say? Yeah. Okay, well, you'll be passing the base anyway, then. Yeah. What are you going to be doing oh, down south? Oh, nipping. that's right. Yeah, you're going to be going getting to a oil shale so that we can not, you know, be Run stranded with no fuel. power tools. Yep. Because you get very quickly dependent on those tools. Yes. Very quickly dependent on them. On the vehicles too. Yeah, looking at the uh, gas on this bike. Mind you, I'm I'm using it recklessly and uh, not really conserving my fuel at all. But uh, yeah, it's down to thirty percent right now. Yeah, but it's it's fine. Like as long as people do just go every so often and, and mine it, it's just uh, it is a bit of a like. Uh, it is a bit of a of a, tre uh, of a trek, yeah really that much of a trek even it's just it's just one of those things you're like oh i'd rather be questing or i'd rather be doing this but it's actually a really important thing to do yeah make sure though that you take weather appropriate gear okay that being said down in the mine you're going to be less it's hot generally but not still a problem i don't think i'll be there too long either i won't be using too much stamina because i'll be using an auger so yeah Need to prep this area, ready for the two new farm plots for the hops. I'll take all the, the gubbins out on my bike as well. Okay. I'll go eat and drink, and then I'll uh, I'll head off. Hey. Right. There we go. Just pulling through this uh, concrete right now so I can put two more farm plots and then pop down the hops. Then I'll be getting back down to the, okay. the build site. Do you want the red tea? Yes, please. Okay, I've got some on me. If there's none in the um, uh, drinks cabinet anyway. Cool. Heading back in now. There's not know? in the drinks cabinet. Okay. There's lots and lots of go. beer. But that doesn't do too well. No, that doesn't help quite as quite as well. Right, what else do I need for the farm plot? Nitrate. It's not this, it's somewhere I need. Okay. Perfect. Alright, that's all I need for now. I'll go drop off what remains of my, uh, my uh, concrete mix. Oh, we're not doing too bad, actually, for that. Not doing too bad at all. And go okay. and drop this off.
I'm actually quite happy with the uh, little farm we've got going there now. I know, you're doing really well with that. Despite it's that like not being tiny, a focus. Little tiny garden. Yeah. Little tiny herb garden. I'm kind of surprised that it's come together so well. Thousand odd. Oh, Seven hundred. Thank you. All right. I think that should do me for now. Uh, can we add any more grass in there? Yes, we can. At this point. Time. Wood is so plentiful that I'm not even really making sure that uh, worrying about yeah. We Just need chuck the it in amount that I've got for a good amount of time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Every time I go down to like on the roads, I try I try and like drive with one hand. Right. And then yeah. I end up off the road because I'm trying to take a little sip of my hot chocolate. And I'm like, mm -hmm. That seems yeah pretty 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 standard yeah. About how it's gonna go. How is the hot chocolate though? Really nice. Marvelous. Very yummy. It would be extremely, extremely sad if your hot chocolate wasn't really nice, let's be honest there. Yes. It would be very sad. Let's go down into this pit. Uh, right there. there we go. Alright, so um I do kinda wanna make a bunch of wet concrete here <laughs> really uh right okay three thousand going yeah, that'll do okay that wet concrete is going to take a little while um get out of my mind what's up she that What's wrong? Zombies. Stupid zombie in my mine. Rude. Messing up my messing up my my mining expedition. I mean they are gonna drop in on you. Remember in the the, the last time I went mining for lead and suddenly I had a, had a whole horde of spiders drop on my face? Yeah. That wasn't the best of times, I'll be honest. That would probably have killed me. Need to find a good place to get uh, military fiber parts now. I'm thinking that little military surplus base over there would be a place we need to strike to try and get hold of some of those. Fancy it might be a good option. Right. Gonna have to take these bits out now, unfortunately. Now, what may have been a smarter move is to instead of uh, it's a white add in the concrete that I uh, the cement that I did uh, actually not the concrete I was the rebar I should have taken the rebar away once I uh, checked first whether this was in the right place and then when I confirmed that it wasn't just took the rebar away around it so that it would just collapse on its own rather than me having to dig it back out but Sorry, I didn't hear much of what you said there. I had uh, two zombies and a white drop in on me. Oh, no worries. I was mostly talking to, to my viewers, really explaining uh, how I could have done something a little bit better over here. But your health is still dropping rather quickly. Are you okay? Oh, get I'm off me. Take that as a no. I think we need to go on a rescue mission. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! No! No, no, no! What <laughs> on earth happened there? Uh, spiders dropped in. It, okay, yeah. Yeah, much much the same thing. And I didn't I me. didn't see they were around my legs and stuff, and you were like, your health is still dropping. I was like, I don't see what it is. And then there was a big lady zombie and spiders, and I just handled it badly. No worries. That's pretty much the, the group that dropped on me, actually. Spiders yeah. and... Uh, Spiders and, and uh, fat lady uh, and a white, yeah. and I, I got the white and everything. And I was like, oh yeah, this is really cool. This is fine. I don't actually think Aww, I did much. That was a shame. That. No worries. Um, 
I'm heading down there now. I will be there when you arrive. Shall I just take the car down? Uh, yeah, by all means. I'll clear everything up. You're the fastest way to get back. What a shame. I was doing so well. You were. Put you down. Got loads of oil shale and stuff. And then they just had to come in and get me. Oh, they're going to take that whole thing down, aren't they? Yep, yeah, they are. Well, that's frustrating. Oh, What's hello, happened spider. that they've into the mine? You had a rather large horde, I'll be honest. Yeah, I killed a few of them, but, you know, they just seemed to keep coming. And I was like, oh, gosh, where are they even dropping from? I was, I was watching the... There we go. That's I didn't down. even see where they dropped in from. Uh, from the top, basically. Really only yeah, one but I didn't see them from. drop in from the top, is what I'm saying. I, I, I was looking at the, the entrance, and maybe while I was fighting other things, they dropped in, and I didn't notice. You did have a lot but of wanderers what a around. Suck full, what a suckful way to die. Don't worry. You came back. You didn't actually die. It was just another close one. Okay. There we go. She may not actually make it, given that I just set her on fire. Okay. Did I set him on fire? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it looks like she died. Looks like he might be dead too. Okay. We're good. Alright. Okay then. Oh, that was irritating. Thank you for clearing that out for me. No, helping. no, that's oh, not a problem. Get my got bag. A... Are you going to be able to drop oh, all the way down? Sprained. I just sprained my leg. So yeah, that that's why good. I didn't go down. Uh, but what I can <laughs> do is drop a splint for you. It's fine. It's there fine. you go. Some splints right there. Thank you. You're welcome. Be prepared. Right, while I'm here, I'm going to take care of this so that you don't have to get uh, messed up like that again. I'm going to make a little something. Why, thank you. You're welcome. Now, do you think it's possible for you to build up a little frame connection down there? Mm, of ladders and such. Frames. I have some frames. What do you What do you want me to do? Do you see where the hatch is? Just yep. build up a wall that I can build a ladder down. If you're stuck and you don't have wood, I can drop down lots. Just get in this little area. Built up a bit around here. Oh so no, 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 no. What's wrong? I, I, I put down some frames and then they all got destroyed because I was being silly. Oh, no worries. We'll get everything back in order shortly. There we are. Is that not? Is that good enough for the ladders? Uh, sure. If it's a if it's a wall, basically all the way up to the hatch, then it is good enough. I am not doing anything fancy with this. It's basically a box. I hope you can forgive me. But uh, it'll be a box that will offer a slight bit more protection from zombies getting in. Yeah. Eventually, I'll have That's windows and everything. That's all we need. Should have done this before, really. My own fault. I don't suppose you got any animal fat on you, do you? No. Is there a cemetery? Almost yes, there's a cemetery. Tell you Marvelous. That I do not. Uh, it's okay. I can get fat. Just don't ask where it comes from. Because I'll lie. I will not. And I don't want to be a liar. Don't make me a liar, Sheila, please. Uh, oh, you're a right. liar. I'm just looking to get up. I'm up to a 600 now. I'm just looking to get to about 900. Mm -hmm. And then that'll be enough because we've already got like um, 700 and something in the base, and it's 800 to make a stack. Yep. 
gonna upgrade these uh, frames just so it's not easy for them to be demolished. They, they kind of still will be demolished fairly easily, but it's a little bit of an upgrade. There's a ladder on the other side of that. Oh my god, there is. Why? Uh, that is amusing and also ridiculous at the same time. I put a ladder on the back of a ladder. Didn't even know you could do that. It actually doesn't look bad, though, so I'm going to remember that for future builds. There we go. Right. Be right back. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's make ourselves a door. Window. Well, that was as much as I, I was wanting to get for now. Oh, okay. You're like, I've just built you a whole building, and now you're done? What? I know. Such a scallywag she lab she is. I know. I need to pick up my bike. Oh, um, uh, oh yeah. Bike. Then. I'm not actually sure which one's which. This one is my bike. I'll pick that up, and then I will mm. drive the car back. I'd be a little bit fancy. I mean, come on. You're not a tiny bit fancy. Then why even do anything? I'm hot, and I've got death penalty, and my leg is broken, and I'm playing a mini violin. I mean, I can go and get my, my, my violin if you want. I'm not sure anyone on YouTube will survive, because there is no way that my mic is balanced for playing voice. a violin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I would actually kill most of my viewers. I, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, but when you got to gotta do, you got to do. Right, there we go. It's it's a really, really awful little shack. But eventually it'll come back with glass for windows and a, and a little 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 candle for inside. It'll it'll be wonderful eventually. One day. For now, well, no. We'll probably just move on to another another thing soon, maybe. No! Not after I've put so much effort in this. How dare you? They aren't we nearly done with all the oil shell in there? It's like pretty, pretty close to I being don't finished. Care. I will give it a purpose somehow. It started as a little mining shack, ended up as a mega base, launching at least one space rocket a minute. I am so going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the town. I'm in the town. I'm just going the wrong way in the town. There we go. Where's and my we're bed? back. There we are. Turned off too quick. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm back to the whole base. I'm back to doing some work. Okay. So, what's your next focus? Well, my next focus is going to be bring some concrete down to you. Oh, that would be grand. And also, the, the wet the concrete stuff. box, please. Yeah, all that stuff. Oh, there was 10,000 gas in the car as well. That's quite handy. But yeah, I'm just going to put on this soil shale to go and then uh, we'll, we'll come down and have a look at the base. Excellent. I'll put some iron bars on as well, should I? Yes, yes, definitely. I'm not sure how many, so... 18. Uh... Oh, I'm glad you've already worked it out. Wonderful. <laughs> no worries. Uh, if you want to make um, two vault doors as well, that would be definitely worth doors. it. And a vault hatch, if you can. Forge steel, spring mechanical parts. Spring. Forge steel. Can never find the mechanical parts, I'm so bad. Perfect. There's two doors and a hatch. Ideally. They're not super crazy important right now, right this second, but no, uh, we do need they're them. They're queued up. Queued up being made. Excellent. Right, let's uh, queue up the gas as well. I'm out of stamina. Better drink my tea. The best way to restore stamina. I don't care what coffee drinkers say. Caffeine doesn't give you stamina. It just tricks you into not realizing how tired you were. You ever wonder why that crash is? That crash is your brain suddenly realizing, oh my god, I'm half dead. 
why did I keep going for so long when I just needed to rest? Yes, tea doesn't do that. No, no, no. Don't tell me it's made of caffeine. That's a, a heretical lie spread by coffee purists. I see. It totally does contain caffeine. Just In fact, you know, gram for gram, tea contains more. It's just you use a lot less tea to make a cup of tea than you do coffee yes. to make a cup of cup. But we have no place for science here. This is the Church of Tea. This is the Church of Tea. Slowly making some progress now. Oh, actually, I've got some things I can do with these already. Pop. Pop. There we go. All right, I'm digging down the corridors that will lead to the uh, electric fences. Wonderful. Down my... And shovel needs a repair. That's one thing I do like about the game is, unlike, uh, for example, let's use Minecraft in, as an example here. You can't mine certain materials with certain quality tools. You have to have a certain quality tool to be able to mine the material. You can destroy that block with persistence, but you can't gather materials from it without the right type of tool. So, you know, obsidian and a diamond pickaxe. Whereas in this, yeah. the higher tiers of tools just make your work more efficient. You can still mm -hmm. do it, with some very, very um, notable exceptions, like you have to have a crucible to make steel. Without a crucible, you can't make steel. You can only make iron. Um, but okay. How it makes are we sense. doing for rebar, just sorry to interrupt? I've got 60. We're going to need a lot more. We'll need more than that by oh, yeah. a huge amount. Yeah, by maybe 500 or so. Oh, we can make 611, so shall I put like 500 on? Just 500 for now, yeah. We'll focus on uh, just trying to have enough for the time being. Yeah. See, I've got the problem now of like when when do I actually stop gathering stuff and and pop down to you? Oh uh, well, as soon as you feel you've got enough stuff to contribute to the design, basically. Yeah, I've got five hundred concrete mix here. Okay. Which might be quite handy to take down. How are you doing for your concrete mix? None. Or none left. Okay, I'll bring mm -hmm. it down. Right here. You know what? Having the uh, the wall go all the way down here is actually unnecessary for our design. Um, interestingly, we only need the wall to go as far as this, but we could perhaps build in a turret or something at the front so that if things were getting rough and we activated our turret system... Yeah. Or it, it, indeed, we could wire it up to even a, a better degree of automation that if the zombies have broken through over here and have started flooding in the guns uh, that are kind of watching this area start engaging because there's there's zombie presence but they would engage based on the uh based on a motion sensor so kind of like the, the you remember the turret in our last base so you can visualize what i'm thinking yeah yeah, yeah. they were activating by themselves <laughs> if they saw a zombie they'd engage they weren't being yeah. directed by a motion sensor, but we could instead have a motion sensor uh, where are you off to. Watching you driving Nowhere? off into the sunset. I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just the scenic route. But uh, having the um, turrets activated by a motion sensor would allow that motion sensor to activate multiple turrets. So, for example, um, say a zombie broke through this door here, the one that I just opened, and was coming in through here. The gun turret that's watching that approach would be activated by a motion sensor that was watching exactly the same area and spotted that a zombie had broken through. And so um, triggered not only the gun turret that was watching the door to try and thin the herd that have literally broken in, but additionally, we could have a set of gun turrets over here that don't turn on unless that sensor triggers. So at that point, it's like, well, the 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 the, the keep has been breached. Uh, this is no longer a a you know uh, a walk in the park. We're not just you know ex experience farming now. We're at danger of death. 
so it activates all of the guns at the at the very entrance as well to start applying as much damage yeah. to the zombies before they reach us as possible. I think it, it that um, plan may have some merit, and it shouldn't be too difficult to set up either. In fact, it shouldn't be difficult at all. Uh, maybe maybe quite good. Just getting the floor done down here. Yep, that's fine. Thank you very much for bringing down the supplies. Really appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. I'll we'll have to go and do another little run in a minute. The other vault door and stuff should be done soon. Hi. Alright, uh, let's uh, take down this little door here because this vault door can go in its place. I think it needs to be facing this way. Well, there we go. Perfect. And with that, again, we'll we'll get. I don't think having two doors on either side really helps us. Oh damn it! Uh, really helps us. Yeah. Like I was saying the other day, the only thing that that can really do is to kind of help split the zombies up a little bit. Yeah. But honestly, if they're breaking through a vault door, you've got bigger trouble. Exactly. At that stage, you really need to uh, probably be thinking about running away. Uh, let's get wedges. Right, this is almost one side now completed. And that I am extremely happy about. In fact, for the concrete in the approach, it's now basically done. Very good. They're just starting to work on these little sort of side corridors. Yep. I was doing the same on the other side as well. But yeah, I like the idea of having additional gun turrets, and it's not like I can't make them now, so... Yeah. Um, I will... Yeah, we will go ahead and expand the entire frame all the way out to the side. Because we will have gun turrets down at the bottom. I think that'll actually be pretty cool. There we go. Now, these walls will need a lot of wet concrete um, on the outside to create the ramps that we're going to be using. Uh, but it shouldn't be too terribly difficult for us to set all of that up. Now, we're making tons of concrete. It's just uh, really a case of uh, waiting for it to be mixed at this point. Yeah. We could always make another cement mixer if you feel the time is right mm. for that. Yeah, it might be, actually. We do apologize though, and we know there's a lot of building going on right now, and it might not be the most riveting stuff. While it's quite cathartic to play, it might not necessarily be quite as cathartic to watch. Um, but this is quite important work. It really that, is, uh, yeah. Otherwise, we, we will be Benny Hilling it for. <laughs> we will, yeah. For the Horde Day, Horde Night. The main thing is to have. A too high wall on one side and basically some sort of a roof, uh, roof. Sorry. If we can have that, then vultures won't be an issue and the zombies will approach from the right direction. Yeah. And that's all we're going to need initially. Um, it'll be very, very bare bones, but it will work. We can just remove the rebar in such a way to give us access to the corner blocks that we're going to need to be uh, reinforcing. Yeah. Uh, we need to take it down. Well, we don't technically need to take it down anymore. Um, we can actually make do with this. We build I the floor there, and then just we might need to take it down. Or well, we put a half block there. I think what I will probably do is set up a different style of uh, electrical relays through here. Mm -hmm. The last one was kind of trying to work with the the um, 
the mountain that we were working through. But this, yeah, but we we're building it from scratch, so we can really facilitate a, a nice, smooth area there, in there without too much worry. Uh, down okay, on I'm this gonna side, a... I'm going to go ahead and start putting in the uh, ramps on here. Okay. But what were you going to say? I might do another run back to the base and grab some more stuff. Yeah, by all means. If that's uh, something that would be useful. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. If the uh, iron bars are ready, then uh, we can actually pop well those be, into yeah. position. Thank you, Sheila. I don't think they take too long. We need to go back to... Well, we need to wait on those ones, actually. We can't start placing that down just yet. Uh, so we'll leave that on that side. Um, need this side down one more layer in a few spots. The um, electric fences have to be too tall. Yep. So that does necessitate at least a couple of spots where we need rebar just a little bit lower than usual. In fact, if you want to bring across the electric fences, we're going to need uh, another four. But if you bring across the four that oh. we've got, I can put them into position. Do, do, do we have four? We should have four. I, I collected them from the previous base. Just get to where you put them. Do you remember whereabouts you kind of put them? There is a chest for electricals. I believe it is right next to the uh, workbench. The one above the workbench. It's the one to the side of the workbench. Got, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'll bring those four down. You say we need another four? Yeah, we are going to need another four, yeah. Because now we've got okay. basically two sides that we need to uh, electrify. So electric fence posts, forged iron and electrical parts. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, they're on the make. Okay. I'll bring down the ones we've got. Um, do we need another generator or anything like that? You bring the, brought the generator down. I haven't brought the generator down. We're, there's no point in us setting that up just yet. Until Not later. until we actually uh, ready to start using it, because otherwise it's just here for things to break. They're not. Okay, I've got another 500 concrete mix but... as well. Okay. I can't believe I died. Oh, don't worry, Sheila. It happens. You did get stuck down down in a mine. I've taken some liberties with that sort of thing, but I'm fairly confident in my ability, mostly in close quarters because the pistol is such a good mm -hmm. close quarters weapon. Yeah. Um, yeah, pistols are really good for that. But then also, um, like, the stun baton's good, but if, it, if you get mobbed... There's only so much you can do. Yeah. Unless you're getting really good headshots and, and decimating everything, but... Yeah. I have almost finished laying the rebar ready for the floor along one of the corridors. So we've almost got one full corridor ready. Well now, done. Now, if worse comes to worse, we can leave the other one half ready, half finish again we don't yeah. actually need to take everything to its uh final um level over here did you no, have more rebar by the way we need to be safe oh i forgot to pick that up no oh, that's okay okay no so problem. how about i uh drop all the other bits okay you can start working on those vault door hatch everything like that thank you some more concrete mixer and i'll go and get those iron bars oh. that's everything <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheila. Not iron bars. Are you bet. sure you don't want to be the one building all of this? Again, it, it it's kind of your design. No, I'll go grab the rebar and then I'll, I'll come and do a bit of building. It's fine. Okay. It won't be a minute. Whee. I just like skidding around on my motorbike. <laughs> it is really fun, to be fair. Well, I am a little bit like, one day I am going to get caught out by a mine. I know it. Yep. It'll happen. 
Though to be fair, motorbikes are reasonably good at, at preventing you from dying from such things. Like deceptively hardy little things. They're quite they are. tanky, aren't they? They're quite good. Where did I put on this 500 rebar? Haha! -ha! It's all done. Yay! Marvelous. That's actually a lot faster than expected. Mm. Rebar's quick. It is actually, yeah. Especially for you, because your skills allow you to use the forge that much faster. Yeah. Right, I will be back in just a second and then we can start properly building all this stuff. Sure. I wish the concrete would get... Oh, I wanted to make a cement mix. This is my second one. Maybe I'll do that next episode. That would definitely speed things along like massively. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be a necessary thing, honestly. Now, I'm, I may not build a Jeffrey's tube design this time around. Because, again, one of the big reasons we did that last time was to dissuade zombies from trying to drop in on us at that location. It's not as yeah. much of a concern here. Um, they should be trying to dig down. Right, I'm out of concrete mix. Oh, cool. I've got a little bit of concrete mix. I've got about, like, 500 here. Oh, what marvellous. I think I do. Oh, do I? Oh, no, I must have dropped it for you. Sorry, no, no, sorry. No, oh, that, that's, that's Giving you false fine. hope. No, it's False okay. hope. Right, so do you want to see down on this side what we've set up? You can just fill in the, the gap over here with the rebar you brought. Cool. But as you can see, this is where we would have our electric fence post set up. Um, get them all facing the right way. Don't quite have the uh, concrete mix to finish that one up, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, so... A little fence post would be in there. We can walk comfortably through this little cavity. Yep, we can put a little ramp there or something if we mm -hmm. want or whatever. In we'll fact, we'd need to probably have um, this, wouldn't we? Yeah. To get in the door. Easily. And then, and then a, ramp a little down. ramp just over here. Yeah, exactly. So we'll I'll wait to place the... Um, yeah, that was just there. for illustration purposes. Yeah. And so do I need to dig down one more... Um, yep. One more level down here. on this one side. One more level down here, yes. Let's have a look. Are there any zombies on their way to us? No, because there's two of us. Naturally, the zombies are going to stay out of the way. When we're out mining on our own, though. Nope. Oh, no, there's one. Hello. Let me set you on fire. I am, like, Actually, there's a few of them out at night. Well, uh, do you need help or are you alright? Nope. I'm pretty good right now. Well, that was way off. But this is a fairly good... Uh, that wasn't far off in terms of uh, position, I don't think. It was just where she was. Ah! Oh, I lit up her shoulder it was that close that time. Man! I lit up her side. Need to let my sight zero in. You know what? I'm just wasting really, really expensive arrows. <laughs> but it was so fun, though. Come this way, please. Make sure that there's no one else on their way. Really? Is she not coming? I'm a bit offended. Okay. Pistol is not effective at this kind of range. It's a range <sighs> thing. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, it is, actually. You could totally do <laughs> Why was I doing it when she loves there practically with a sniper rifle, my lord? Where is the zombie? Just over there. Yeah, you got it. There we go. There you One go. X zombie. Locked door will be on this side. These uh, rebars. Dunk. Excellent. Right, I'll come over and I'll uh, place them specifically where the. Uh, yeah. Uh, just a couple of little spots where we need to have uh, something just a slightly bit uh, different. Basically, one bit of rebar, okay. one step lower on these points. So if you've got one rebar, 
Just pop it in the hole I've just dug. There you go. Excellent. And that's everything we need. Marvellous. So this side will be ready. One there? Huh? We were missing one just behind it, but that's fine, I think. No, we should be fine. There we go. All right, so all that remains Lovely. then is the little bit of... Uh, it's coming along. Uh, the concrete two indeed. rebar frames over here for the uh, to seal that in. A little ramp leading down into this corridor. And we're good. Really, really liking that. The doors are in place, which is yeah. amazing. Even the hatch can be placed. Um, or would be... There was something to the side of it to build on. Um, we need to do something. But the main thing is, we do need like the whole perimeter sealed, don't we? Really? Yes. So, shall I start building in oh, with oh, frames, with the frames building up the walls? Um. Yeah, yeah. By all means. I like this. I need a side component here, I think. Either that or I need to upgrade to the hatch. So I may be able to place down a... No, I, I, th I think it's probably wiser if I use a concrete pole around this. And what you can do is, uh, it's on face, so we want advanced placement. I'll do, place it there. There. So I figure if we get like the basic shape of the corridor and then we'll sculpt around it with like shaped blocks to make it easier for the zombies to walk over the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll do that a bit later. There we go. Now, what we could do at this point is uh, actually have these poles go up if we wanted them to. We could have them be uh, climbing up to the ceiling and so that you'd have to back into this properly to go down. Might be worth doing, actually, because it adds just a tiny extra bit of uh, security to zombies tr dropping in on you because their pathing can sometimes glitch over things like that. Yeah, okay. So so what were you, what were you meaning by that? You'd... Well, as you can see uh, where I've put the concrete block so I could attach the hatch at the right level, mm -hmm. what we could have around that is things like these. So oh, I see. Right spot. And that way we'd have this going up to the ceiling. Like that. To create a platform yeah I see and it allows us would... to move through it but yeah, will prevent stop especially the bigger zombies getting through I don't think it'll completely stop them from it but it will make it harder for them to navigate yeah so you know every little bit will be a benefit for us and I can just connect up to the ceiling then in fact we could even have a power relay right there leading out in, in uh, whatever direction. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, either that or, or even have a uh, kind of a false wall against which you can have motion sensors looking down into these areas in order to activate the traps automatically. There's quite a lot of things you can do once you, once you get up to that sort of stuff. Uh, right, okay. Looking good, Sheila. You've done an amazing job here. I'm going Concrete to... it all now. Yeah. We also want to put one layer uh, deeper of, of rebar on the outside okay. walls, basically. Because as you can see, we, we go like one further down because this little area goes a little bit further down, if that makes sense. Yeah. So if we can dig out the uh, the walls around here, then that's going to just save if us a lot dig, of time. If they just dig under like this underneath it and then just pop in a rebar frame like that mm -hmm. yep yeah. exactly we'll dig out the... that's been done on the other side already hasn't it yeah on the other side it's all it's all fine um yeah. it's just on this side we need to take care of that 
Now, if we're very lucky, the zombies won't actually care at all about trying to breach the walls. Like, if, if we're forced into a, uh, a Horde Knight sooner than anticipated, which could be tomorrow, actually, or rather mm. um, uh, day 40. I think day 40 was the earliest that the Horde Knight could appear. Day 40 is the earliest. I'm hoping yeah. we don't get it that day, that we've got a little yeah. more time. Because if we can get a little bit more um, time to put the prep work in, at least get the walls fully secured. The walls concreted in, yeah, exactly. Then I'd be happy with that. <laughs> that orca makes such short work of dead. My goodness. I know. It's, it's a bit of a waste of fuel, but... No. It's either, it's either we use the fuel or we use our time. Yeah. Now, did you say that more concrete was being mixed? Back yeah, in the yeah, there's like, I put on like 6,000 concrete to be mixed and we've only had like a, a thousand or so. Oh, that's fantastic. Of it. Absolutely so still fantastic. A few thousand left, but I mean, whether that will be enough, I'm not certain. No, I don't think it'll be enough, but it might be enough to create a temporary, uh, as long as the outside Just... walls are secured. That's the main thing. We can make yeah, a roof out of wood. Walls. Um, as yeah, long as... the roof only has to really be vulture-proof. Yeah, initially. Uh, eventually, it needs to be a lot more proof, but uh, initially, it's only vultures you need to, to stop. And anything will stop them. Because vultures don't use melee attacks. Oh, well, I mean, they kind of do, but um, they don't tend to attack structures. That I've seen. Maybe, maybe they do on occasion. Now, you won't need to take the floor down any more than you've already done. Okay. I'm just uh, digging this in because I know that we're going to need rebar in these locations. Okay, that's fine. Can you have a quick sweep around visually? Confirm there's no zombies. Yep. Nothing? No, it seems fairly quiet. It seems fairly quiet. Excellent. It's kind of mad that we're out in the middle of the night doing all of this this work and making so much noise because, you know, as you can tell, an auger is not a quiet thing. It's kind Good of bonkers. You want rebar all along here. Yeah? Yes. Yes, please. And then in the little gap there on the wall. Figure I may as well do something with my time. And digging is... Uh, it's an honorable profession. I'm, I'm a digger. And I'm digging. There we go. And yeah, just take this all the way across. But yeah, the the skeletal um, shape of this whole base is basically in position. Yeah. The electrical inner workings far from set up. The roof far from set up. The the actual meat and muscle on these bones not even there. That's what we need to get on with, really, in the in the next yeah. few episodes. We need to get this to the point where, realistically, we can expect the zombies to try and get to us via the route that we've planned out for them, instead of just attacking um, the, the walls and breaking in that way. Because if they do decide to do that, we are going to be in a pretty rough, rough position, I'm going to be honest. We are, yes. So we're probably going to see another episode, maybe two, depending on, on how lucky we are with when this, Horde shows up. But, you know, that's not too many episodes to get a whole Horde base done. No, exactly. And we have taken the episode here or there to go do a bit of questing, but uh, I definitely think tomorrow, if it isn't Horde night, we do need to be working on uh, finishing Absolutely. this off. You're right to say to do 500. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Already. I was pretty certain we were going to be using an awful lot for this. An awful lot. And that's not even beginning on the wet concrete uh, wedges that we're going to have to do to make it a proper like turtle um, shape on the outside. Yeah. 
But I'm super happy that we have this little uh, corridor over here, more or less done. Still got to build up the walls a bit, reinforce some of the concrete and actually get the uh, electric fences in position. But the uh, the doors are in place, the bars are in place. Yeah, reasonably happy with that. But I think that's where we're going to have to wrap up this episode, everyone. Yep. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next. We're, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get the majority of this horde base uh, finished. If not, bringing it to a point where it's huge. functional. Um, yeah. We may, may be uh, able to at least fortify it enough that the zombies will just attack us in the direction that we want them to. And that fingers is ultimately crossed. the goal. Yeah, fingers crossed. But thank you so much for joining us and hope to see you in the next one. Until then, and as always... Do take care, everyone. And keep being awesome. <laughs>